is BHD Army, it's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we're here and fucking up once again five creepiest real found footage and or lost tapes. I hope there's no jump scares. Y'all already know I'm a bit of a coward when it comes to this type of shit. I'm doing this for y'all. Y'all want me to watch fucked up shit and tell y'all my thoughts on it. But with that being said, if some jump scare type shit happening, man, this shit might get cut short as fuck. And that's real. There's a good chance this video might not even make it to the light of YouTube out this bitch. This video is originally by Nukes Top 5. So, as you guys already know, we're going to chop some parts out. So if you guys want to see the entire video, uh, make sure to go to the link in the description down below, which leads you to Nukes Top 5 channel. Make sure to subscribe to him, check him out. I don't even know how much of this I can do, man. I can't... You know what I mean? Like, y'all see I haven't done a Try Not To Get Scared challenge in a minute, because I, I don't fucks with that. Let go. Let let go, man. We're fucking up. Don't you, don't you scare me, Nuke. Don't you fucking scare me, Nuke. I swear the to God. Top 5 Real Found Footage Videos. Play with me, Nuke. The Redwood City Arsonist. In 1987, in Redwood City, California, there was a devastating crime wave of home and property arson. That's fucked up. Despite an extensive investigation, the police detectives and fire marshals on the case could never find any evidence. Not a single clue. Damn. On the one hand, you gotta be good as fuck for the police not to find no evidence on your ass, but on the other hand, it's kind of a fire. So anything that you had fucked up, like fingerprints and all other shit, doesn't that get burned up? Upon reviewing the tape, authorities were shocked to find that it was an actual video recorded by the Redwood City arsonist. In the video, he records two houses that he has just set on fire. As the houses burn, he eerily gloats about the arson. Man, what the fuck is wrong with people? This nigga sound like he's masturbating into the camera while he's looking at this shit. Look at the fire. Mmm, oh, so hot. It's nice. <laughs> you know what? That might be how this dude busts his nuts. You know, this just might be how this dude comes. I don't know. Maybe this is how he gets down. Maybe that's why he's setting so many fires, because it sexually arouses him. Some weird shit. You know, I mean, I would love to think we live in a place where that can't happen, but there's people out there who suck feet. You know, on purpose. They want toe mouth on purpose. And people out there eating ass and stuff. People in some crazy shit, man. I heard on the internet one dude, man, he liked to get his, his sack stepped on. Get your, your balls crushed. Literally, like that, that was some form of arousing. I, I don't know, like apparently that nigga's it, it, it turned on by internal bleeding of the penis. I don't, you know, but that's what this sounds like. This dude is masturbating and watching fire. I don't know, I maybe it's the fact that the fire obviously isn't wearing any clothes is what turns him on. Let's, well, I don't know why. This is what I've been doing for weeks of vacation. Nasty, see? Tell me that doesn't sound like somebody having horrible sex with themselves. Yep, he's getting it in. Looks like they just need to put this nigga in a straight jacket, have him in one of those motherfucking rooms with all the pillows all over the walls where they feed you and, and shoot you up with that stuff that makes you calm every four or five hours. That's what this nigga needs. The release of the He's tape led to the capture and arrest of two teenage boys who had set all of the Redwood City fires. Y'all some stupid motherfuckers. Dude, the way this shit sounds is these motherfuckers was doing this shit, getting away with it, and then you go, just like, you know what, no one's catching us, man. Then I, I feel so free. It's not supposed to be like this. You know what, man, we're going to throw them a bone, and you're going to leave your goddamn tape of you doing this shit in a farmer's field. Like, really, motherfucker? You done got away with the shit. Is this not self-snitching? You stupid, stupid motherfuckers. I hope they threw the book at y'all dumbasses. Not even for setting the fires, which is fucked up, but for being stupid. You don't need to procreate if you're this dumb. When the boys were arrested, investigators were shocked to find even more tapes. The arsonists had recorded themselves in crude makeup, dressed as vampires, werewolves, and other monsters. The teens had also recorded video of newspaper headlines of- So not only was these motherfuckers out here trying to kill people, but they were guilty of making bad YouTube videos? A crime punishable by years imprisonment. Making videos dressed up as vampires. Like, nigga, really? 
Fuck type of weird shit. They answered some weird shit, man. There were 60 other arsons that they had committed. Damn, 60? One of the teens was sentenced to serve time in juvenile hall, and the other, who was heard on the tape, was committed to a state mental hospital for treatment. Motherfucker, this shit doesn't go away! What is wrong with the world, okay? If someone is out here beating their meat to fires that they just got done setting, and they've done 60 of them, nigga, that's not something that can be cured. Like, are you gonna implant an entire mindset into these motherfuckers? If you're just gonna put a nigga in a cage and tell him he should never do that, or a mental hospital, motherfucker, I'm gonna lie and just tell you I'm better until I can get out and masturbate to more fires that I've set in people's houses. And that's real. If I was out here jacking it to, to arson. The Bjork Stalker. In 1996, Ricardo Lopez, a mentally deranged fan of alternative rock singer Bjork, began plotting an attempt to kill the performer. Nigga, she ain't even that bad, bruh. Come on, baby. This is the prime rib that you've sought your entire life for. But then again, this nigga does look like the state's buff marshmallow man out this bitch, like the nigga on the front of the the biscuit box where you poke his stomach and he go, ooh, ooh. like I can kind of understand why he, this would be something like, you know what I mean? You gotta lower his bar since he's low as fuck on the bar. Chronicled every step of his eight month plan on videotape. Lopez intended to mail Bjork a letter bomb containing sulfuric acid in hopes is to that kill or disfigure the singer. Why is he, he planned his... to kill himself with a gun purchased at a local gun shop. For shame. On September 12th, 1996, after eight months of planning, Ricardo Lopez mailed his sulfuric acid letter bomb to Bjork at a nearby postal box. Then he returned home to his small apartment where he shaved his head and painted his face. He then glued photos of Bjork to his apartment wall. In black paint he wrote on the wall, quote, The 8mm tapes are a documentation of a crime. They are for the FBI. He then drew an arrow pointing to the stack of 8mm videotapes that he had recorded over the last 8 months. Ricardo Lopez then sat with a gun listening to Bjork songs on his home stereo. He then shot himself after the last note of the song, I Remember You, played on the stereo. Obviously, I won't be showing his actual suicide, but these were Ricardo Lopez's last moments. What the fuck is wrong with people? Why can't you just be happy with a bitch off of Craigslist? Granted that she's probably a man, you know? Because women on, on Craigslist, have been, it's been notorious for them to have dicks. You know, but I mean, it's it's only not cool if it's bigger than mine. I have inferiority complex. I'd get mad at that. But come on, bro. You couldn't eat up plenty of fish. Really? You got to set your bar high as fuck. And then when you don't get that, you try to kill her and you. So on the other side, it is extremely and creepily interesting to see someone's uh, thought process before they take themselves out the game. And to tell you the truth, man, I mean, like, you know, this is sad as shit that someone would end their life, but, uh, it's still pretty fucked up. This is fucked up. Oh, this is weird. Continue. Nigga, that's... That is the scariest shit I've ever seen in my goddamn life. The look on that... This motherfucker's face before he pulls the trigger is probably the scariest thing or expression on any human's face I've ever seen in my goddamn life and in my phone rings uh, actively scaring me even worse thanks Josh you filthy bitch I gotta see that look again man I, I don't know why but I, you know it haunts me and I feel like it'll haunt me if I don't see it again you know get some closure alright okay it's a good thing I did look at it it wasn't as bad the second time First time was scary as fuck for some reason. Second time, you know, you knew what you were seeing wasn't really that bad. But it's still pretty. I mean, like, what are you... No pussy is that serious. Damn, just beat your dick to porn on the internet like the rest of us. Either that, or just get yourself a big bitch. Or, like, a, a one of those she dudes off of Craigslist. They're not saying no to nobody. You could get that shit easy. I mean, for like... It's, $29.99, they come right to your house, man. It's about... And we're gonna, we're, we're gonna move Four on. Four days later, police found the decaying body of Ricardo Lopez. We're gonna edit that out, by the way. No evidence. In a small apartment. 
They viewed the 8mm videotapes and were able to reach out internationally to Scotland Yard, who intercepted the letter bomb in London before it ever reached Bjork. Oh, ho, ho, ho! I look like a stupid son of a bitch! How do you thwart your own plan? <laughs> How the fuck are you the re The whole reason you murdered yourself was to screw her over and you give the FBI the infinite evidence to, to thwart your own shit, to stop your own plan. <laughs> what? This is the definition of lack of patience. That's what this is. Life lesson, children. Wait a week and then kill himself. This shit wouldn't happen. But then again, it's a really good thing that, you know, he wasn't patient because, you know, Bjork didn't do shit except for make some bad music. And while she does deserve to get less recognition for said bad music, nobody deserves to die. Huh? Someone deserves to die. You know, I, I make bad music too, but no one's tried to shoot me yet. But, but then again, I am nice enough not to put out any of my bad music. You know? <laughs> Mixtape coming out 2018. <laughs> Call that shit food stamp money. The Pennhurst film the footage. It opened in 1908 and was grossly overcrowded for most of its history, often housing up to 700 mentally ill residents. The Pennhurst State School and Hospital was a constant source of controversy throughout its operation. Mentally ill residents were abused and neglected. They were kept in unsanitary, inhumane, and even da is that poop? dangerous conditions. Oh! U.S. courts eventually ruled students. that the residents were being or is that a straight jacket? subjected to, quote, cruel and unusual punishment by the staff. The Pennhurst State School and Hospital was closed by a court order in 1987 and the buildings were left abandoned. Later that same year, an abandoned video camera was found inside the Pennhurst State Hospital. They film each other walking around the hospital grounds and buildings for about an hour. The camera flickers and briefly comes alive again, revealing a date and time over a day later than the last shot. Then the camera goes dead for the final time. Oh hell no! We can't do this! I can't do this, nigga! This is some the haunting shit! I can't know! No! I might need to open up my blinds for this shit. I can't do this, man. I'm in my heart's alone. Fuck this. Hell no. Uh-uh. Fuck. Y'all owe me milk and cookies. This is y'all fault this is happening. Hey. This is bullshit. The two college students. Don't jump scare me. What the fuck is y'all doing in an abandoned fucking mental institute in the first place? Only crazy niggas is in there. Yes, you just don't love yourselves. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we... Mmm. Ooh. Oh. Mmm. Nigga, my heart is jumping like the Energizer Bunny rabbit right now. Oh, the Energizer Bunny. Okay, this is... The, no jump scare. They fucking up. What you doing in there? Y'all fucking up. It says ghost. Okay, that was so much less scarier than I thought it would be. God damn. I'm oh, scared for nothing. God damn it. You know what? We can't. This is it. That is that. Ah! Uh, uh, I'm surprised we made it this far. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because it might not happen again. Um, if you guys want to watch the original video, of course, it's by Nukes Top Five. Uh, you want you guys want to watch the rest of the video in its entirety as we tend to chop parts out. Links in the description down below. The description. Obviously, the place the I with an O. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah? Ingenuity. Hmm? Get creative. <laughs> or just not know how to pronounce words. Fuck, I said pronounce. I'm on a roll today. But yeah, if you guys want to watch the original video in its entirety, the link is in the description down below. It leads to Nuke Top 5's channel. Make sure to go check him out. Subscribe to him. You know, watch some of his other videos. I'm going to see if he has some more of this crazy type shit. Obviously, he does. But thank you, Nuke, for not making this too fucked up. You know, you could have left way more footage in there. Good looking out. You know, uh, your boy would not have been able to make it. I'd die at the age of a young person. Yeah, man. It's boy Blast from Sage D. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. You guys want more content. Uh, link is in the description down below for them shits. Uh, let go. Huh? <laughs>